It's, get, it's getting dark and you've got to get to bed, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, sleep early, <laughs> I'm a baby. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing rolling. Yeah. Put that there. Get that. Okay. Oh, uh, hello. Welcome to Cycling Tips. I am Dave, and I'll do the joke I did last night. Sorry, who are you? Uh, I'm Greg. <laughs> I'm Greg Van Avermaet. That's right, we're with Greg Van Avermaet, who is riding the World Championships gravel, the inaugural one, tomorrow. It's, yeah, it's what, six o'clock already. You should be in bed, surely. <laughs> yeah, finally I can ride the World Championship again. Eh? I missed two now on the road. So I'm super happy to ride the World Championship again. And I, uh, I, I don't need a coach to select me. So <laughs> I'm good. I'm you, happy to be here. You can just turn up and do it yourself. You don't, need, you don't need permission from the National Federation. Yeah, that's the easiest part about the gravel world. So you can go just come. <laughs> e easy definitely seems to be uh, one word or chilled, relax is one word that people sort of label gravel, gravel will have with. Have you found it that way so far? Have you done many gravel races? Uh, it's my first one, first gravel race and uh, it's directly World Championship. So uh, I think uh, it's relaxed, uh, I would not say, because it's, it feels quite similar for the moment to me than a, than a road race. But uh, I think uh, I always like to ride uh, off-road in general, even with my road bike. I'd, I've always picked come some roads that are not on asphalt. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, gravel has always been, it's always been something I liked. Uh, this, uh, not a gravel bike, but more like a cyclocross bike. It's it's kind of similar. Yeah. And uh, super happy now. Finally, BMC releases like a, a big gravel bike. BMC new gravel bike, and I'm guessing it's been a little while since you mecha used mechanical because you've got the Edcar group set on there. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Actually, I have to think about it when I used the mechanical. I think uh, the first time you BMC 2010 or something 2011. So uh, it's been a while, but uh, yeah, I think it's a simple group set, and that's maybe the best on uh, on off-road terrain. So we have don't we don't have a, a shifter in front and just a rear derailleur. So I think uh, it should it should do the job. I did it. F I tested the first time today, so we will see what it gives uh, tomorrow in the race. But uh, for today, we had no problems, and uh, I think it's a it's it's good. It's simple, so you cannot do a lot of things wrong. Sorry, well, you've, you, it's the first time you've been on this bike today, then. Yeah, yeah. I did a big road season, and uh, I didn't receive the bike at home. So uh, I was always texting if they could send it at home. But then, yeah, it came that close that this week it was finished. But then I should take it on the on the plane. So I prefer to have it uh, sent by a, by a truck, and then I received it here. Does that get you sort of nervous or sort of throw you at all? Not been with being on it before, or you've been on BMCs for a long, long time now. Mm -hmm. Do you do they all sort of ride in a way you want them to? <laughs> well, I think I get a little bit nervous. Yeah, like this week I was like, oh, I didn't test my bike yet. I didn't use the terrain that I should ride on Sunday. So I think I was. Uh, I took my cyclocross bike. I, I I texted the guy of Pirelli to send me at least a, a pair of uh, of uh, of tubes uh, to ride, and then on Wednesday or t yeah, Tuesday. Uh, t j uh, Thursday I went off just to in my own area to feel a little bit you know the, the feeling of riding off-road I do it often in winter time but like in summertime uh, yeah I don't find it that much time anymore to ride off-road so uh, it was it was a, a long time ago that I did off-road so it was good to test it but uh, yeah I was kind of confident in the mechanics and in the, in the people from the material that it should be ready today so, so can you run us through what you're using or have you just left it up to the mechanics to spec the bike, to put the, the t tire size on there? Or have you, oh. have you gone, right, I want this, I want that? I texted Mathieu a lot, I, a lot. I, I was asking him tips to, to, to give me advice on what I should ride. But then in the end, it was also not easy because I didn't have the same material that he had. And uh, yeah, I think in general, I, I, I chose for a safe, a safe setup. Uh, maybe not the fastest, but I think it's safe. The bike in general, I think, is, is the best out there. So 
that's not a problem. The group said also, but then on on the tire, I was always like a bit, you know, which which one you should take? Yeah, because yeah, it's gravel, but it's not that technical. It's long, strong, uh, uh, long roads, straight roads. So I think uh, I think I, I made a, a choice where I have not such a big thing on on punctures. So I play on that on safety, and then, and then I hope to, to get on the finish first. <laughs> how good are you at being a mechanic on your own? And how, how if you puncture out on the road, you've got to look after yourself. Get a mechanical, you've got to look after yourself at this rate. There's no following cars. Are you a bit? Are you a dab hand with the Allen key? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite good at it. I think. Yeah, I'm also have the experience now. You know, I'm uh, I'm 20 years almost on the road with my bike. So if I could not change a tire now. <laughs> I would have a problem, but uh, I use the uh, when coming tubeless in in on training. I lose a lot of use uh, use tubeless tires on training, and with the plugs, it's going quite fast. You know, I have these uh, plugs to put in, and then the CO2 on it, and then I'm I'm going again. Normally, it helps me. Sometimes I have some struggles with it, but uh, nine on ten, I can I can I can I can fix it. So I hope also if it happens tomorrow, I can fix it. Yeah. Spot on. Okay, what do you think about the world then as an as an event? Gravel coming under the UCI umbrella. You excited? You indifferent? You think it's a good idea? Yeah, I like it. You know, I think this the step is not too big. I think road cycling and gravel cycling are quite close to each other. It's not like mountain bike. Uh, I think it's more technical and a different ty type of rider. I think gravel it would should it should fit better the road cyclist and yeah I, I really like to go off road also in in general I like Strade Bianche it's one of my favorite races uh, and also like the recon this morning feels like a bit of Strade Bianche you know you're you're out there on uh, uh, roads with uh, with not such much cars and uh, it gives good feeling you know I think I always search also on training kind of roads where you get more connected with your nature. And you can be relaxed on your bike, and I think this combination, uh, the, the performance, of course, I like to perform, but also to be relaxed in the nature on a on a quiet road, gravel road. I think it's it's a great match, and I think uh, that's why I'm super excited to also to be here. Definitely chilled and yeah, relaxed is definitely part of the old gravel scene. So um, I, I suppose are you going to be rocking up on the start line in in? Denim shorts, Hawaiian shirt, in <laughs> Belgian national kit. Yeah, I received a, a kit, and uh, Steve Bar was actually <laughs> laughing with me because I never wear like a skin suit. Uh, but <laughs> I only got uh, received like a skin suit from the national team, and uh, on the road I always wear pants and and and, and jersey because I like it. It's just it's more my style. So uh, if I use tomorrow a skin suit, uh, <laughs> they would laugh at me. I think. <laughs> So you are, you are using the skin suit tomorrow? Yeah, it, it fits quite well, to be honest. So I uh, will see how it how it goes. I have, I have both options on my room. Yeah. And then tomorrow morning I make the decision. How are you going to carry all the, the food around with you and everything then? That's a good question. I still have, yeah. to, I have to start thinking about this. Well, there we go. I'm sure the shops are still open. <laughs> you can nip out and get a, a bum bag, fanny pack. I don't know what you call it in Belgium. Like a bag on your bike or something? No, no, or? no. One of them from like the 80s, a little ah, yeah, bag yeah, around yeah, the yeah. waist. Yeah, yeah, a belt bag or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. It's an option, but I have, I have pockets. So <laughs> I, will, I will do it like this. <laughs> Spot on. I should let you go and get your feet up. Thank you for your time. No do welcome. you watch a lot of YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Right, so you'll know what to do at the end of a video, dear. The old like, subscribe. <laughs> go okay. on, down the barrel. <laughs> like, subscribe. Cycling tips. Yeah. Join the conversation. Let us know what you think of the world. Thank you for the ta your time. I'll let you go and get warm. I'm going to ride home on that thing, actually. Electric. Yep. That yeah, looks good. Eh? Looks fast. Good for you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you for your time. Thank good you. I'll do that one. Oh, that yeah. one. Yeah. Thank you.